Catalan independence seeking goes back centuries and Girona is a good place to start to try to understand it. This region is a heartland for the independence movement. The Catalan president, Carlos Puigdemont, is from here and Catalans celebrate their first national hero, Guifre el Pilos, or Wilfred the Hairy here, 9th century. Now legend has it that when Wilfred was injured in battle, he wiped his bloodstained fingers across his golden shield. Now that's why they have the Sanyera, the red and yellow stripes of the Catalan flag. This northeast corner of what we now know as Spain developed its own language, Catalan, and the port of Barcelona was full of merchants and traders. Sailors, Christopher Columbus, came here on his first voyage back from the Americas. Then and now, the port of Barcelona is a jewel in the crown of the Catalan economy. But the people complain here, the money coming in is funneled elsewhere, and like taxes, little of it comes back. And the separatist argument is they want control of their own economy. Catalans are proud of their art, Miro and Gaudi and Dali, and their culture too. And there are two key dates to remember. 1640, the War of the Reapers, it's when the peasants were revolting because the Castilian Spanish troops were in the region. They asked here for independence, the French to help, it didn't work. 1714, the bigger Spanish empire absorbed little Catalonia. At that time, they held out for over a year. It was called the Siege of Barcelona. It's still remembered to this day. It's called the Deada on the 11th of September. In 1937, George Orwell wrote in homage to Catalonia how he stayed on this building on the roof for three days because down there, he was lookout for a militia group and his job was to look over as a sentry across Las Ramblas. And he was one of many foreign conscripts who felt they needed to come and join a militia to take on Franco's troops and fascism. And that was a dark time here in Catalonia because once again, not only was language and culture suppressed, but also some Catalan names were even banned too. In the past four decades since Franco's death, Catalonia has its own constitution, its own language restored, it's got its own devolved powers too, and it makes it one of the most important regions now in Europe. But also, there's long been this problem between unity and between the periphery, between Madrid and Galicia, between the Basque Country, between Catalonia as well. And now there are some who say they just want to be their own entity. Others who say they want to be both from Catalonia and Spanish too.